my students. So I posted some pictures and a link to uh, some rock balancing art. It's a very methodical, very um, beautiful, ephemeral type of art where you don't use anything except the rocks to get these rocks to balance one on top of the other. Create uh, a sculpture, sort of. And the artist that I linked you to is, let me see if I can pronounce this right, I don't know. Um, it's either Koki or Kokai Makuni, a Japanese artist who has been doing this for a while. And lucky for us, he videotapes the process of him making these pieces so that um, he has something because typically they don't, you know, they don't last forever and they're going to come down. So he has some something to remember them by. And you can follow his Instagram page also, which I think is called uh, Rocks Portraits or Rock Portraits. Really cool, really beautiful. Um, just wondering how in the world he got them to do that. How did they stay that way? And he has it on video. So that's pretty cool. But it's really great, you know, like if it's a beautiful day out like it is today, go outside, find some interesting rocks and play around with them until you can figure out how to get one to sit on top of another, to sit on top of another. And um, when I have done this, I've typically continued the process until I finally made the whole thing collapse. Um, so maybe I'll try it today and stop <laughs> before hopefully before it all falls down. But it was, it's enjoyable. And it's a way of just making a piece of art that doesn't require any materials at all. And it is, like I said, it isn't going to last, right? But it's there for the moment, it's beautiful. And the benefit to you is the focus and the patience and the ability to put this thing together. So it's definitely not without its own merit. If you want, I would love you to take some pictures of it and post it in the comments on the blog so that other people can see what you have done. All right, I'll talk to you soon.